So y'all, yes, that was the first attack on the homestead, okay? First attack on the homestead. And when it comes from a rodent, a vulture, whatever you want to call it, um, that's been our first attack. So it was like, oh my goodness. So we're going to be uh, looking at different things to put out there um, to just kind of proof it to make sure Kate, that can't happen again until I can find the cages that I actually wanted because they're out of stock. Okay, so I'm going to have to do something um, eventually. But right now, still trying to uh, make sure that it's cost effective um, and all that good stuff. So make sure that you are looking for all type of things because a lot of people be saying, you know, like the bobcats, the foxes and stuff like that. We do have foxes here. Um, so... I haven't had an issue with none of those. So who would have thought a freaking owl, y'all? Freaking owl. And it amazes me how they think they can just come and take whatever. You know, those quails is my food, too. It ain't just the garden. like. But I guess they say they got to eat, too. But I'm pretty sure it probably took it. Now, with that being said, so now I'm down to nine females out there and three males. But I think I know for sure I have a male. So it's really like eight females. And these came from the um, guy that I got them from um, about about a month ago, a little over a month ago. So I have to write down. They, I think they're about eight, nine weeks. They're about eight, nine weeks old. So we did get our first egg. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Uh, what the egg looked like. I was so excited last night when I saw that. I, after losing one, gained the egg. So, um, another thing is, I want to show y'all, I didn't tell y'all, let this, let me see, what's this, this past Sunday, yeah, this past Sunday, you know, today Friday, so this past Sunday, I got some more quail babies, yes, I went and picked up some, I'm going to show y'all, so, this person actually is closer to me, about 45 minutes away, he was super nice. Um, these are pharaoh um caternic quails and they was born last wednesday so they are a week old a week in what two days old today and then the ones that i hatched um about what they're about mm, about three weeks old about a little about close to three weeks old now um, the one that I hatched and I had had seven of them. If y'all remember that I had seven of them about three weeks ago and now I'm down to five because I lost two. And that normally happens when you had, when you're hatching, um, anything, chickens or whatever, you lose some. So I'm going to take y'all out here in the garage and I'm going to show you the ones that I hatched. The that was out of 60 eggs. So the, the hatch rate on that was not good. I'm just being honest. The had seven chicks seven quail out of 60 eggs and you know i'm not new to hatching them so i know it wasn't on my end it just a lot of the eggs wasn't fertile because i counted them and they wasn't fertile um and the ones that was they were developing not right okay and so they just did not make it um they didn't even you know it was something in it but it just didn't make it to the stage of actually you know so let's go out here let me show y'all what i got um far as y'all should have already saw somewhere in here the picture of the owl okay so y'all saw that part I, I know i'm gonna put it i know i'm gonna put it up there so yeah so by now you should have saw the picture of the owl and y'all seen that it was big that tree it went into was my neighbor tree and it was way bigger than what you see in the picture when it omens wings it's a big boy it's a big boy, okay? So let's go out here and let me go ahead and show you these baby quails. All right, y'all. So these are the ones that I hatched. Let me see if, if I cut this light off, this heat lamp off. Um, If that'll help. Y'all can see them better. Because if I raise it up, they're going to jump. So these are my jumbo whites, okay? So they're all white um, with black spots. They are jumbo whites. Let's see. I don't want to try to fly. Let me try to get y'all a better picture. See? Yeah. So these are they're about three weeks old. They're gonna be going out soon. Um, especially with us having good weather. 
So these are the ones that came out of the 60 that I hatched. Um, I told you it was seven, but five made it. Um, and then over here is the ones I got this past Sunday. So I have had them, what, five days now? And they were, they are a week and two days old. Um, I lost two out of the batch, um, which is, you know, it's normal. It's normal. So let me cut this off. So it looked like we are, so I had got a total of 11, um, and I lost two. So it should be nine in here. Let's see. One. Let's see, they not flying like that. Yeah, it should be nine. So these are my pharaohs. Pharaohs. Yes. So as you can see, I have a good starting point for um, my quails. Let me show you the one egg I got from the ones outside. And there we go, y'all. That's my egg from yesterday. So, um, yeah, I was so excited to get a my first quail egg from this batch, y'all. Super, super, super duper excited. So, yes, y'all. So, that's what's going on. So, I still have eggs that I need to put in the incubator. Yeah. I end up getting eggs when I went and got the, the chicks, um last sunday all right so i still got i still got something to put in the incubator so here they go y'all here they go these are the ones i gotta put in the incubator that i got with the baby chicks so yes your girl finna start the process of hatching some more and these will be pharaohs um pharaoh quails okay will be the type of them um, that I will be getting started tonight and hopefully if it's God's will in 17 days, we'll be, so, we'll be having some more to hatch. Okay. So y'all, I'm so excited cause I am getting it going, getting it taken care of. Um, I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do with the males. I'm not gonna have so many males because they're gonna start getting butchered and put in the freezer. Um, but I'm excited that, you know, I know more about them, um, more about how to handle them and the different types and things like that. And it just, everything is just coming, you know, together. And it's an amazing feeling when you know that you are doing things that's going to help you in the long run. Okay. Because y'all, let me tell y'all. Things that's gonna be another video. I'm not even gonna mess. I'm not even gonna mess this excitement up with thinking about the you know things that's going on or whatever. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. But y'all know, y'all pretty much know. Um, make sure that you don't get discouraged if you have something that happened like what happened with the quail. It happens. It will happen. Just keep doing what you can do. Try to because. When you out there messing with it, whether it's gardening, whether it's livestock, whether it's both or whatever, you are against Mother Nature's and the creatures that's out there. And so you're going to have to do the best you can to make sure that you are able to hold on to some of your stuff because they looking at you eat. They got to eat too. But I just don't want them to eat my stuff, you know, um, because I got to feed them and all that stuff. So, you know, right is right. Wrong is wrong. All right. So, I don't want them, you know, doing it. So, definitely, I'm going to let y'all know what um, I come up with as a reinforcement um, to kind of help. First of all, I got to get them busy bodies to stop getting out of the pen, okay? Nobody else has been getting out but them, and look what happened. If she would have been in that pen, she wouldn't have been a victim of an owl, okay? That just is what it is. She wouldn't. But, she kept getting out, getting out of the pen or whatever. So... That's what happened. So, with that being said, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Hit the notification bell so you get notified each and every time that I upload a video. And I will see y'all in the next one. If it's God's will, y'all be safe and continue to prepare. Bye.